What's up filmmaker and photographer community? Thank you for joining another one of my YouTube tutorials. I've kind of been doing a couple of these lately. I just thought uh, you guys might find some of these interesting. There's little things I do along the way that uh, I think you guys would find interesting, like what I'm gonna talk about today. Uh, we're gonna talk about how I turned this photo into this photo. All right, let's jump into it. All right, I'm gonna be working on this photo uh, taken of me just recently in Puerto Rico by my good friend Clayton Heath. And uh, I'm standing on this epic archway on the north side of Puerto Rico. Atlantic Ocean is like crashing underneath me. You know, it, it called for an epic photo. There is no way I could leave that location and not have a good photo of it. So uh, that this is the edited version and this is the, uh, the raw unedited version. So you can kind of see the difference there. And I'm going to show you a little bit of how I got there. I'm not necessarily going to talk through every little process. There's one key feature that to me sets the editing of this photo apart that I think you guys should know when I was editing through it. Um, I, I was like, you know what? I wonder if my audience uh, knows about this tool. Maybe you guys do if so great. But for those of you that don't, this will change the way you edit and, and change the dynamic of your photos. So just, just trust me, just give it a chance. All right, so uh, I am gonna slap on a uh, preset that I have created. I have been creating some presets, so kind of trying to develop a digital pack. Let me know if you guys would ever be interested in buying them. It wouldn't be, they wouldn't be expensive. I would probably keep them super cheap, uh, but I have thought about starting to create some digital packets for Lightroom. Let me know if you guys would be interested. So I'm gonna slap on this one that I currently have titled Instagram Filmmaker 2.0. I may change it, but I'm just sort of trying to keep it organized. And this is how it's gonna look right now. So yeah, it looks kind of cool, but obviously, you know, it's a little washed out, a little bit, the highlights are a little too hot. All right, so I'm gonna go over to the right side of my screen to my masking tool. And I am going to first select a linear grade, and I'm gonna try to pull up the bottom of this image just a little bit. Um, you know, I want, I want the focus to be up towards the top, close to where I'm standing. So we're gonna take the exposure of this down, uh, somewhere in there maybe like that, just so it's not as bright. Might stretch it up just a little bit. Um, I'm gonna take a, uh, another linear gradient, kind of just ever so slightly from the top, maybe maybe down like this, and then we'll bring it up just a little bit, and we'll bring the exposure down there just a little bit, just so it kind of it vignettes it a little bit, but it's, you know, it's obviously in my control, it's not just a, an oval vignette. The next tool is the one that I want to talk about with you guys. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on myself, Sounds kind of weird, I'm just for the tutorial, not so you can see me. All right, so we're gonna go to brush. This is the tool I want you guys to know about. All right, watch this. Now, uh, I'm actually gonna shrink it just a little bit. I'm gonna scroll down on my mouse just to make that a little smaller. And I'm gonna start just highlighting the subject and uh, it will basically auto detect where any lines are. So it kind of can tell I'm trying to stay within the confines confines of, of uh, me or the subject and kind of keep filling this in just make it all red kind of come up along this edge here give myself a nice little sunburn which I actually got that's pretty accurate uh, you should have seen it it was very very bad I got incredibly roasted I did put sunscreen on my arms uh, but forgot to put it on my face. So next time uh, I go to Puerto Rico, I'm putting sunscreen on my face. It just really helps life be a lot nicer when you can do that. <laughs> uh -huh. Cool. All right, so we kind of got this, uh, everything selected. Now we can go over here and we can actually control the contrast, basically everything within that selected area. So I'm gonna actually bring the blacks down just a little bit, maybe the shadows. Um, I'm gonna bring the exposure up just a little bit. Maybe add a little contrast. Bring the shadows down a little further. We are wanting, essentially we're wanting the subject to stand out even more. Um, that way your eye is drawn more, more right to the subject. All right. We're gonna click out of that, we zoom out. And already you can kind of see, just by doing that, it makes the subject stand out a lot more than it did 
before. Let me just show you. All right, here's here's all of our, our uh, masks we've created. I'm gonna deselect them. All right, that is off. Just look at that. I mean, your eye doesn't know exactly where to look. We select them, we turn all the masks on. Now your eye it sees everything really easily. It's drawn right to the center of the frame. You know, it gives a bit of a natural vignette right to your subject, right in the middle of the frame. Again, off and then on. And again, just being able to select your subject and, and fill it in, it doesn't even have to be a person, it can be whatever you're wanting it to be, but being able to select it, like adjust the coloring of just your subject will automatically help the dynamic of your photos, draw your eye right to the center, give contrast, help your eye focus on what you want it to focus on. Okay guys, that is basically it. I think this is the first Lightroom tutorial that I've done. So if you guys wanna see more uh, tutorials in Lightroom, let me know. I would love to uh, throw some tutorials your way. Please subscribe if you found value in this. Give me a thumbs up and I'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.